Hello everyone and welcome to this week's episode of Pingis Programma. In today's week's episode we're going to talk about the short pimple rubber. Earlier we have made two episodes regarding this. How to play against the short pimple rubber and how to play with it. And today I'm going to tell you guys why I chose to change from backside rubber to short pimples after 15 years of playing and when you as a player should consider changing to short pimple rubber. One of the reasons why you could change to this particular rubber is that you have problems with high spin balls, heavily spin balls in your backhand. For instance, I had problems attacking with my backhand on backspin. This is why I changed to this rubber. However, you should not change to this rubber if you find it hard to play with backhand, as it is quite hard to handle and you need the right technique. You should consider changing to this rubber if you are a backhand oriented player. For instance, I've always been punching with my backhand, but never really done any strokes with heavy spin using my backhand, thus the backhand loop. Therefore, using this rubber, it makes the punch even more effective as the change changes how the ball goes and it also affects the spin. For instance, if I block with a backside rubber, it's very easy to predict how the ball will come in return. Using this particular rubber, it is very, very hard to predict. And also it's very effective because it changes the pace in the ball and it gives me as a player with a great forehand, good time in order to prepare and attack and win the point using my forehand. Another point of view are the receives on serves. I had to positionize myself like this in order to be able to do any good receives because I had such a weak backhand. Now, when I change to this rubber, I feel much more confident in standing with my backhand and playing on returns because it doesn't entirely kill the spin in the opponent's serve. However, it really damages it. And sometimes when the opponent uses a good serve and a push with this material, the spin comes back in a stranger way. As you see, I'm a tall player and I have a lot of body mass to move, thus making it very hard standing like this and also move and move out to the forehand. This gives me more time after the return to come out and be ready for the next point. And lastly, if you're considering changing to this material, you have to keep one thing in mind as well. You want to train your normal backhand for quite some time before changing to this. This is not a quick fix or a highway to a backhand technique. I've trained my backhand for so many years and then I decided to change to this rubber. And what makes me a stronger player today is that I sometimes can change to the back, backside rubber and do attack. This makes my playing style much more of a variety and it can disturb the opponent. Also, sometimes I change, this, I change to the short pimple in forehand and I do a non-spin loop, thus tricking the opponent. And sometimes I go in and serve with the short pimples. So you get a better variety in your playing style. And according to me, it's harder for the general player to play against short pimples than playing against the backside rubber. Okay guys, thank you for watching this week's episode of Pingis Poga. Keep in mind that there's a huge variety in the short pimples, so if you try one out and it doesn't suit you, don't hesitate to try some, some more. If you're a coach and you're considering putting the short pimples uh, on one of your player's rackets, make sure to really inform your player how to play with it, in which situations it may benefit and not, not benefit the player. Uh, I re highly recommend that more players should play with this material as I see that it's very, very effective in today's table tennis. Please don't forget to like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe to our channel to keep our work going. Turn on notifications and we'll see you next week.